I remember applying to med school like it was yesterday. I'm not someone who is naturally good at interviewing. I feel as if I am much better on paper than I actually am in person. Whether or not that's actually true, I don't know. But I'm just the type of person who gets so nervous for interviews. And now that I am prepping for residency interviews, I'm starting to like reminisce on the times when I was doing my med school interviews. And I wanted to make a video on some of the common like med school interview questions that people get tripped up on, some of the common mistakes I see in them, and like what you should be prepping for. If you don't know who I am, I'm Maggie. I'm a fourth year medical student. I run this business and this channel with my brother, John. Most of the time we do MCAT related stuff, but we're branching out into sort of like some med school application things. Cause I mean, those just go together. We may move into like some med school stuff too. So like, just let us know what you want to see down in the comments and like this video and subscribe, all the things. But I will say when I was prepping to do my med school interviews, I, I was so nervous that I channeled that into doing like a lot of research and coming up with like everything every question possible that could be asked in a med school interview and like prepping scripted answers for them. Not entirely scripted, of course, like just like I had to have some sort of idea. Like I had to know like, what am I gonna say if they ask for you, you know, a time, like my biggest weakness? What am I gonna say if they ask me why I wanna go into medicine or why I wanna go to this school or what's a time I had a moral dilemma and I had to find a creative way to you know, get out of it, whatever, you know, the insane interview questions that they ask and expect you to have answers off the top of your head. Are you kidding me? Like, I don't remember what I ate for breakfast this morning, genuinely. How can I possibly like think about this when I'm so nervous in this interview right now? But regardless, I think some of the, this may be like a multi-part sort of series because there's, I literally, I'm looking at the document that I prepped right here. There are, there's like a dozen questions that I prepped for. But I just wanna go over like the common ones this time. So I'm gonna tell you guys, I think the biggest mistakes people make when they answer, tell me about yourself. Horrible, horrible question. Why medicine? And what is your biggest weakness? Granted, I did not apply to a lot of schools, so I only interviewed with two schools. And so I am answering, like, I just wanna be transparent with you guys. I'm answering based on my two interviews that I got. One of them, the school had MMIs as well as like a classic interview. And then the other school was just a classic interview. So I will be transparent with you guys and tell you guys not only like what I prepped, but also like, what I actually got asked in the interviews. Some of these questions are like the same thing. Like they're gonna ask me like, tell me about yourself in residency interviews. So I've like prepped that as well for myself. Tell me about yourself is oftentimes like an opening question when you first get into the interview. And it is, the problem with this question is that it is way too broad. Like where am I supposed to start? I'm 26, I have a cat, I wanna go to med school. Like what are you, what are you supposed to say here? The bad answer is if you start way too broad. So if you say, I'm Maggie, I'm 26 years old, I grew up in Mississippi, I went to this school for undergrad or whatever, because I had already graduated by the time I interviewed for med school. And then you say, I really like medicine, I wanna go to med school, here are my hobbies. Like they're not, they're, what they're really looking for is like a carefully curated and casual personal statement from you that is short and that they can latch onto things inside of it so that they can ask you further questions. Cause their interview, like the interviewers are also like, it's a little bit awkward and uncomfortable for them as well, especially if there's like awkward silences or if y'all are just not vibing together, like it's a little bit awkward for them too. So they want to find something about you that you're interested in and that you have brought up in this whole, tell me about yourself little prompt so that they can ask you further questions about it and really suss out, is this person gonna be a good fit for my medical school? So yes, you can start out by saying, I'm you know, 26 years old, I'm a senior in college, but this is where you need to fix it. After you get past like, those two facts of life. You need to start, I've talked about this so much with the personal statement video that I made a few weeks back. You need to start building a theme. You need to say, if, if I could find, you know, one, one word that describes me, I would say I'm um, empathetic. You can say I was r raised by, you know, my mom was a nurse. She worked in, you know, X, Y, Z, and I saw how compassionate she was and how impactful that her words and her presence was to others. And I always wanted to, you know, fill that role. And then, then you're gonna get into the question of why are you not a nurse or why are you not trying to go to nursing school or whatever. But then you can 
say, you know, I saw all that and then I have this clinical experience being a medical assistant or a scribe or whatever. And I always really admired the way that the physician like leads the team, whatever you get, the, you get it. Like that's how you are building it. You're not only answering, tell me about yourself. You're also saying like, here's how I see myself as a human, like here in, in a few words, here's how I see myself matching really well into the medical field. And this is why I want to go into medicine. Like you're sort of hitting two birds with one stone. You could also like, especially if you're one of the people that's doing MD, PhD, or you're trying to go into like a really academic program, you could say, oh, I'm one of the, you know, I've always been the type of person who wondered why, why things happen. My curiosity could not be satiated. That's why I picked biology in undergrad to study. And that led me to medicine because you have this constant learning, like blah, blah, blah. I would say, I'm saying some cliches right now because I'm trying to come up with this stuff off the top of my head. Like try to make it unique as possible, of course, as always. You're trying to make it unique without being weird, right? Like you're trying to paint this picture of I'm an empathetic person. I'm gonna, you know, or I have this, this heart for service or I am a curious academic weapon, like whatever it is, you're trying to paint this theme because then they're going to say, okay, this person said that, you know, in the tell me about yourself portion, they said that they were curious. I'm going to now ask them about the research, you know, or they said, you know, I'm empathetic. I'm going to ask them about their service or volunteering opportunities or like whatever. So they just are trying to like, like think, I think if you think about it from the, the frame of the interviewer, then you can sort of understand like what they're looking for in the question. Cause I mean, they're just, they're just trying to get to know you and they're trying to figure out what to pull from your uh, long you know application that you have written out for them because they probably looked at it for like two seconds before <laughs> they got on the call just being real these people are really busy and they're interviewing a lot of people so that's like the tell me about yourself question I will briefly if it's good enough I will read y'all what I wrote so when I was prepping for interviews I like would write down the question and then I would just brain dump and I'd be like oh tell me about yourself like what are I want to highlight like oh yes I like doing this that and the other I see myself as this that and the other whatever I but I ended up like extrapolating on just one and so I kind of was like oh you know I'm I practiced this a lot back in the day I don't even know that I got asked this question but I was like oh I'm you know whatever I'm Maggie I'm from Mississippi and then I was like my friends and family would say that I'm really logical love science and then I said, but I felt like I would have, um, like I have a creative streak. And I tied that in with some of the like organizations that I'd sort of like started in undergrad and um, also tied it in with like my hobbies. I'm not saying that mine was like the best ever, but I'm saying like I was trying to create this theme so that they would ask me more about these organizations I started in an undergrad because I had a lot to say about them. I didn't have that much to say about like the research, you know, the indentured servitude that I was in in undergrad. Okay, so that's that one. The next one that I stressed out so bad about was, why do you wanna go into medicine? Now granted, this is the sort of the same prompt as your personal statement. So that's why I say when you're doing this whole tell me about yourself thing, you're probably also sort of answering the whole why medicine question. So just get ahead of it. Like just don't even let them ask. Like just answer, answer it in the tell me about yourself so that you don't have to answer the stupid question that you've already answered in your personal statement. But I do think that like if you happen to get just this question isolated, I think that the sort of the same things that I talked about in the personal statement video that I made a few weeks back sort of apply because it is the same question question as the prompt on the personal statement. So I think trying to like make things into a sob story, like even if like you did, you know, first decide to go to medical school or that you wanted to be in medicine because you watched a family member that was sick or something, or, you know, whatever it is, like, even if it is sort of a sad story, what you need to do is you need to say, I first saw this, then I built on this experience and I, you know, saw the positive impact. Like no one wants to like sit across from you and like listen to us sob story and be like oh I feel so bad for this person right now like you don't want that to be the dynamic in your interview if you're going to bring up a story of strife you need to not like pity should not be the main theme of that story it should not elicit pity from someone else it should make them be like wow this person is so 
resilient look at what they've made out of the situation that they were given that's how you want that to land so you need to like carefully craft that and also like hot take like deciding to go to medical school is a decision you have to make like every day in undergrad like it's very difficult to do like the pre-med curriculum and do the MCAT and do the, the interviews and all that different stuff and so really everyone knows that you are not just drawn to medicine because of this one isolated experience that you had when you were six years old like you have been making that decision for years and years if that is the case so what are the other things in medicine that have kept you going what are the other experiences that have built up over time that have kept you know stoking this fire this passion for medicine so i feel like that's like i don't know i mean you can watch like my personal statement video i've said <laughs> how many times am i going to bring up that video you can watch it i'll try to like tag it down below or whatever i'm horrible at remembering to do that but if not i posted it just a few weeks ago you can like look at that for the rest of the the answers to this because to this question because it's the same prompt but at the end of the day for all of these questions don't be too chatty either like you're not supposed to regurgitate your personal statement. It's supposed to be a lot more casual and a, like a lot shorter. Like I, I would say cap your answers at like minute and a half ish, maybe two if you're like really getting into it. I had a bad answer to this, like looking at it right now. I'm glad I didn't get asked this question because I was just talking about like going through a lot of different things in my life. Not not bad, but like like just just kind of rotating through a lot of different career options in my life like as a kid and sort of landing that I needed to be in something that was academic and then branching that like I was like oh I, it's awesome how people in medicine can like use their brains to like help people and yada yada I don't think that this is like the best answer so I'm just telling y'all kind of what I did I'm not saying that it's good again I, I don't think I'm like a, a good interviewer because I don't I can't like think of my feet like that like I'm not I'm not like introspective enough to like think on my feet in an introspective way I can think on my feet like in the hospital like I can think like oh this patient's like blood pressure is low we should blah blah blah, blah. but not in sort of an introspective way I just always struggled with that that's why I still like I struggled with the personal statement I struggled with the interview but your girl got in so it doesn't really matter anymore now I just got to get into residency okay the next question that I feel like is difficult is your biggest weakness and I'm sure you've heard this if you've done any interview prep then you've heard like the bad the the bad answer is to say something that's not actually a weakness examples of this would be I'm a perfectionist I do too much with my time any of the too much like I work too much I care too much those are not good but you also don't want to say this is the hard part you don't want to say a weakness that is actually going to be like a problem in medical school don't say like you make bad grades or you're bad at science like that's not gonna fly do not say you have trouble working with other people don't say that you can't handle stress or stressful situations the thing is you have to pick something that's like middle of the road and then you have to say here's what i'm doing to like help it and i'm releasing this video in june so what I'm telling y'all who watch the video now is if you have a weakness, you should start reading some books on how to help it. You should start talking to other people, like have something to say in that interview. And I will, I will be completely transparent with y'all. I'm doing this right now because I have a feeling they're going to ask me about a weakness in the residency interviews and I want to have a good answer for it. And so sort of like, Something that is a big weakness for me is that I'm really hard on myself um, and that I'm like, I have a hard time asking for help, got bad imposter syndrome, like all of that sort of like constellation of things that leads to like just being hard on yourself. And that is a true weakness because you can get burnt out in medicine really quickly if you don't have any compassion for yourself. And so what I'm doing right now is I bought a bunch of books. I'm talking to people, being very vulnerable and open with people and talking about their experiences with the same thing because I want to have something to say in that interview to where I'm like, I'm really hard on myself and I, I don't like to ask other people for help. And they're going to be like, well, you're going to have to in residency. So like, are you just going to like get over it? You know, are you just like, but I'm going to say, nah, I'm going to say, 
you know, all the all my weaknesses, whatever, or, you know, maybe I'll just pick one and not overwhelm them with too many weaknesses. And then I'm gonna say, but I've been working on this a lot by doing X, Y, Z, and I've already noticed an improvement in this as characterized by, you know, I'm, I'm always, I always feel comfortable asking questions to my attendings on on rotations or, or whatever it is, you know? But that's how you need to, to kind of frame that question, okay? So name a real weakness that does not disqualify you from medicine and that it actually is something bad, not that you're a perfectionist. Show awareness of why it matters and why it could impact you, but then also say what you've been doing to overcome it. And I would throw in, you know, how like tangible ways that you have seen yourself improve in this. I think a common one that I feel like is pretty safe is public speaking. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't really like public speaking. Like you probably will have to do some public speaking, but it's really not that big of a deal in medicine, but you can, it's very tangible. Like you can be like, I volunteered to, give a presentation at XYZ, whatever. I feel like when I needed more weaknesses, cause I just had to do my like Dean's letter application and I needed five weaknesses. And I was like, I can only really think like, I realized after the fact that like, I know I have weaknesses, but some of the things that are weaknesses, I was not seeing them as a weakness because I'm hard on myself. And I just thought that was life. Like I thought I was supposed to be that hard on myself. So I asked ChatGPT to help me with this. I typed in like some of my like, like things that I did see as weaknesses and then I was like can you think of others that are sort of in the same realm that maybe you know I'm not lying about them but it gives me words it gives me words and it almost like shows me like what is a weakness and makes me think outside the box about like the things in my behavior that have held me back but that I, I am not even like consciously aware of again I'm not an introspective person that's why I'm trying to make this video because I know that there are other people out there like me. Okay, now this could be like a million hour long video, but I'm gonna stop it here. I'll make other videos like this with other interview questions. Like I said, I'm looking at like at least 10 others that I could talk about. And I don't think I got asked any of these in my interviews. I may have got asked the weakness question, but I can make another video about like things that actually got asked in my interviews too. All right, let me know what you guys wanna see in the next video down in the comments below, like and subscribe, whatever. I'll see you guys later, bye-bye.